Okay, Steve's Auto Care here. I want to talk about uh, the radiator on a Ford Explorer. This is an O2 Ford Explorer, and uh, I want to talk about this radiator. Um, see if I can get this angled right. It's hard to see. So, how do we get this radiator out? Um, I messed up because I wanted, when pulling this motor out, I wanted to get just the radiator out so I wouldn't have to do with undo the AC lines. I found out that you can't do that. So what you got to do is there's these brackets right here. Okay, they bolt here and here. Okay, uh, like so. Just like that. All right. You take those off. You undo your AC lines and you undo your uh, automatic transmission cooler hoses off the cooler lines and then you take the whole unit out. All three pieces come out as one. Let's see here. I'm going to angle you up so you can get a better picture of what it's going to come out out. It's fairly heavy. And a little bit difficult to maneuver around the lines for the AC. But then you see it comes out as one unit. I was able to get the radiator out without taking all this out, but it was a pain in the butt. This way is 10 times easier, uh, especially if you have air conditioning equipment to where you can evap or evac the Freon out. Uh, there you have it. That's the way it's going to go in and go out, particularly if you're trying to pull out a motor. Uh, taking this radiator out, plus with all these things, gives you a ton of room to pull the engine forward uh, to clear the firewall and the cowling. Alright, thanks for watching.